Hello, cadets. Hello, 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 hello. So I am your beloved Commander D. And I'm here to command these nuts to stand against Power World. Or the attackers known as Nintendo. Now I'm going to be frank and I'm going to be truthful. I love Power World. It's a fun game. I enjoy it. And Power World's one of my favorite games to play. And as far as I see it, Nintendo, you're crying like the little bit we bitch you are. Because you don't know how to make a good game. You have not made a good game in years. Eons, even. In my taste, when it comes to Pokemon. Y'all like Poke this, Poke that, Pokemon, Poke what? To me. Is what it is to me. Pokemon don't mean jack shit to me anymore. Y'all run your formula so freaking dry, it's like obviously throwing in an already dried beef, piece of beef jerky, and the overall cooker and expecting it not to get burnt to a living hell. Like what the actual frick, you know? But despite all this, like I'm in Power World's development corner, I'm not gonna lie. With situations in gaming, I don't like to lie. So without further ado, Let's get this started. So I've got this in the second and uh, phase of like reacting. So let's get started. Now this video is done by Asmund Gold. Like this is like a tw almost a thirty minute video, twenty nine minutes and four seconds. So this is probably gonna be a almost like an hour long rip and tear through Nintendo's allegations. Let's go. Taking a drink of my overall um all drink. So like this has been mentioned before. As we look at Pokemon, let's compare it to Pal uh, Pokemon to Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest has always come out first. It was out first. It was made by Capcom way before Nintendo's Pokemon. And Nintendo's claiming all our Pokemon are original. Bitch, you are lying out of your goddamn teeth. So you see the bat, you see Zubat, Golbat. Zubat, Golbat. You see the bug right here? Hmm. Caterpie. You see the rat? Nidorina and Nidorano. You see a pincer? You see this guy. You see a slime with a... Huh. Some type of a shell. You got a Om a knight. You got a clam monster. You got a uh, uh, shelter. You got this... Ma uh, like... Rhinoceros rock monster. You got a Rhinon. You got this, uh, what looks like monkey duck. You got side duck. You got uh, what looks like Shinron, but blue skin. Oh, maybe that's Omega Shinron before Omega Shinron was a thing. And then you got Gardos. You got this, a dinosaur, like with wings. You got Aerodactyl. You, you get the point now, right? You get the point. Nintendo saying all their Pokemon are highly original. Oh my god. Oh my god, how stupid do y'all think we are? We're gamers. We're we're not stupid. We don't have to be smart to be gamers, but we're not stupid. Alright. Now obviously you see the comparisons. So, 
Exactly. Anybody remember when Nintendo tried to sue Digimon? Yeah, I'm gonna move myself over so y'all can see Asmund Gold. Oh my, my table's in the way. Never mind. <laughs> Free cup of coffee for you, Asmund. Uh, I'll stick with the burger. You got the coffee, mate. Oh, that doesn't help. He's still. You can see his forehead. You can see Asmund's forehead. Okay, so we just heard all that, and always thank you for your continued support of Power World and Pocket Pair. Dude, no problem. I absolutely love this. All right, so I love Power World. Now, let's talk about theoretically what it can be. So, let's put some comparisons of Power World to Pokemon, and then rip apart what's so different. So, because I saw the Power World Spirit thing, so we're going to go over like the Pokeball. In the Pal Sphere. Now, Pokeball. It is done for various Pokemon like water, fire, earth, you know, Pokemon that has certain evolution traits, you know, all that kind of stuff. What does Pal World Spears and how they react? Well, Pal World Spears are a little bit mechanically different. For each spear can literally have a higher capture rate compared to the level and size of the Palmon. Each Palmon has a certain size and weight and design. And then you also got the level to take part of and the power and the rarity of the Palmon. Such as the uh, in Pokemon, you got shiny Pokemon. and Palmon, you got lucky Palmon. And lucky's just got like this electric aura coming off of it. You know, like these bubbly little electric auras. And I can see where Nintendo's going like... That's just stealing our shinies. Like, it's not stealing your shinies. It looks nothing like them. But I guess that's where Nintendo's probably going to try to pull mechanics or, like, game design at least. But it clearly states game design. So let's continue on with the Pal Spears and the Pokeball's differences. Like I said, compared to the Pokeball, you have level Pokeballs, you have attribute Pokeballs, you have evolution Pokeballs. You have, you know, types like, uh, like type of, uh, overall, I would have to say, oh, please forgive me, um, a race of Pokemon. I know that's a sensitive subject to talk about race, but, you know, like, in Pokemon there are different races, so, uh, that's a thing, right? So, there are different races. Like dragons and all that kind of stuff, or like fairies. And as far as Nintendo can say about the attribute thing, like, oh, Palmon have two attributes in game mechanics. And like, Magic the Gathering does the same thing with their cards. Gonna go after them as well? Come on, Nintendo, put on those big boy pants. Go after Magic the Gathering. Show us your real big nuts. FYI, they ain't gonna go after like freaking Magic the Gathering because they do the same thing with their cards. And Pokemon the card game has two attributes on some of their Pokemon too. I, I don't know what to tell you, cadets. Magic the Gathering does the same thing. Real freaking original, Nintendo. Go after like Magic the Gathering, see how that works out. Uh, like, wow, you can see the words right behind my head because of my glasses. <laughs> Usually how it is. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, with the design. Uh, so, I got a clear head. 
<laughs> I got nothing in my head. I'm 3D, what do you expect? <laughs> but uh, despite all this, so the power spheres worked in a different way according to size, level, and current overall stats. Pokeballs do everything else other than those. But there's one thing between the Pal Spears and the Pokeballs that are different. Pal Spears can have an upgrade for capture rate. These are called Figgy Energies. Now these Figgy Energies you can find all across the map of the world and right now you can collect over 255 I should know I unlocked a trophy for it to get this 200 level 255 figgy energies uh, like achievement darn proud of we'll go over the achievements I've done so far but you see that that increases the capture rate it was once first known to be bugged right seriously bugged uh, but it has been patched and fixed. Something that Nintendo would probably never be able to do in a thousand years if they implemented such a mechanic. But still, that, you know, that's a different mechanic altogether. But it still plays in with the Pal Spears capture rate. Now, take into the effect that Pokeballs, you cannot increase their or capture rate. You cannot modify them. So, in the long run, this Pal Spears mechanics and the Pokeball mechanics are a slight more different compared to, ooh, comparing to the two franchises. But, I can possibly hear you, wait a minute, Commander, what about the computer that's uh, overall in your base that stores the Pal Spears? Well, the computer in the Pal World game is different from the Pokemon Terminals. Pokemon terminals store items and Pokemon. That's all it does. What does the Power World terminal do or computer do in Power World? The differences are quite simple. One allows you to build all the base. Two stores Palmon. Three, of course, allows you to teleport across the map from other teleport points. Four, obviously, allows you to deploy Palmon to work at your base. And that's about it. It seems it has more uses than the Pokemon Terminal. It is different in core game design. It only has one similarity. Storing Palmon. Much like the Pokemon Terminals or Pokemon... The Pal World computers store Palmon. You can also do something else that you can't do in Pokemon. You can level up the computer, modifying its level and allowing you to increase the amount of workload of Palmon and unlocking new features for the base. Uh, even allowing you to make more base across the map. Like, no joke, no scam. Like, it's just how it is. Just how it is. All right? So, now that you understand all that, what happens now? Like, Palmon uh, Terminal is entirely different, only one similarity. But wait a minute, Commander, it's in a building! You build the building. The Pokemon on Center already has a terminal inside of it. The terminal is already has a building built around it. Now, I can see possibly y'all arguing, wait a minute, what about capturing Palmon in Pokemon? Isn't that similar? The way you throw the Pokeball? Well, in Pokemon games, when you throw the Pokeball, it automatically hits the Pokemon no matter what. You don't technically have to aim it. Power World. You have to aim the Power Sphere. Differences between Pokemon and Power World with the spears. Power World, you have to aim the spear when you throw it. Or maybe you have a spear launcher, right? You literally load up a spear into the spear launcher and fire it off. Boom! Right? And it captures the Palmon. With a farther range than the throwing range. 
Pokemon doesn't have a Pokeball launcher. Unless you count the anime. You know, that's Jesse and James bullshit. But, uh, not in game. Alright, let's continue. So, the difference is between that is quite relevant. Now, let's talk about, obviously, any other differences. Like, what about, oh, so from the Palmon to Pokemon? Yet again, there is no similarities. Other than like color palettes or certain body shapes or sizes, it's not really law breaking. But wait a minute, Commander, you can ride the Palmon to fly around. Can't you do that in Pokemon? And ride around on the own like a vehicle. Only one Pokemon you can currently do that in game. Is that motorcycle one from the last one? I wonder how that game worked out. All oh, right, it was an atrocious piece of trash, full of bugs and riddled with jokes. But wait a minute, what about the Pokemon? You can jump on their back and fly from city to city. Um, Palmon, yes, you can jump on a Palmon's back and fly, but you don't fly from city to city. You literally have a short energy bar that you're on top of the Palmon to fly for a short distance. If you choose the fast route, you know, go super fast on the Palmon, like it drains this energy bar. But if you go to normal speed, it doesn't drain the energy bar. Pokemon, when you fly on them, flies from one point from A to point B in the other direction. And oh, what city do you want to go to? Differences? I think so. But what about the Palmon you ride on, uh, on the ocean? Can't you do that in Pokemon? Only in a couple installments in the games. They have never installed it ever since. And plus, it's a really a push and pull with that one. Because, oh, riding on the back of a water Pokemon. Not really original. Anybody can do it. Heck, I'm sure if they put it in Dragon Quest, like, oh, you can ride a water Dorgan. And Dorgan is a mean version of Dragon. Like, you can ride a water dragon. You can do that in Pokemon too, but only for a couple of games. And in Palmon, is a or, or staple in, like, riding over the ocean. I mean, kind of redundant. So, wait a minute. I hear, but Commander, Palmon can use certain abilities like Pokemon outside of battle. No, they can't. There's a difference in that. Pokemon have certain attacks to remove terrain. Palmon do not. Palmon have weapons and abilities for combat. Difference entirely. Now, obviously, I can hear, but wait a minute. You're traveling island to island like in the Galapagos region or maybe the Orange Islands. No one remembers the Orange Islands other than me. Let alone, where's that Orange Islands game, Nintendo? We never got that. Huh. Makes you wonder you missed out on something, huh? Just watch. As soon as they come out with that, that thing's going to be so screwed up. Uh, continuing on. But, yeah. Uh, anyways, as far as that goes, it's not really original. People travel from island to island on boats all the time. Or planes. You're going to sue every boat and plane business in the world, Nintendo? Let alone every game that installs that in their freaking games? Even riding on the back of a freaking Digimon to do it? Come on, Nintendo. Put on your big boy pants. Go after everyone, not just Pal World. But, I mean, come on. This is just Nintendo just trying to... Okay. This is Nintendo trying to rookie crush Power World. I cannot stress this enough. This is Nintendo trying to rookie crush an indie studio. Because they see that, oh, Power World's got a lot more players than us. It's getting so much credibility, so much love, so much enjoyment from everyone else. 
Why isn't anybody loving us, Nintendo? We've been around for years. Pokemon's our number one franchise. Maybe because you came out with shitty ass games where weren't fully developed, and in the long run, everyone hated you for it. Coincidence? I think not! So, let's continue. The Pal Spears. What the actual fuck, Nintendo? <laughs> Live streaming right now. Okay. Covering the lawsuit of Nintendo and Pal All World. They're so far arguing they're going after the Pal Spears. Because it works like Pokeballs exactly. I already mentioned like how it actually works in Pal World compared to Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Pokemon's Pokeballs go after attribute. Pokemon type and level. Pal Spears go after level, size, and attributes. Not attributes, but um, level, size, and um, stats. And we can modify the overall capture rate with the Figgy energies. You can't modify the capture rate of Pokeballs in Pokemon. I also mentioned like the Pal World Terminal. Mm -hmm. compared to the Pokemon Terminal and the differences between those. Pokemon Terminal, terminal just stores like Pokemon item, I mean the items in the game and the Pokemon. Power World allows, Terminals allow teleportation and all that kind of stuff. Teleportation, um, storage of Palmon, and deployment of Palmon at your base. And... Pokemon doesn't have those features for the terminal. And as far as the riding, the Pokemon and the Palmon are completely different. Like flying on a Palmon compared to flying in Pokemon in, in, in the Pokemon games. Mm -hmm. Fly with Pokemon just takes you to point A, point B. Mm -hmm. Palmon just allows you to fly for like forever how long mm -hmm. on their back to like Whatever. Island to island. Uh, I was going to say, basically, until you choose to descend. Yeah, basically. And you can rise and descend manually on those things. I forgot to mention that. Thank you. Do you want to pitch the pizza? No, I'm good. Okay. Just had some popcorn. Yeah, Power World's fun, everyone. Like, this is Nintendo trying to rookie crush. Because they're doing better than and Nintendo's Pokemon right now in player numbers and sales. This is what uh, happens when Nintendo comes out with shitty games and expecting people to buy it. This is what happens when Power World comes out with shitty games. No, no, there is nothing unique about Pokemon.
Thank you. I was going to mention that, but Asmin Gold knocked it out of the park. <laughs> Bear traps. There is no badge system in Foul World. Now, I have heard of Asmin Gold. He's, like, very popular. Oh, yeah. No, like, he's one of the big ones. He's, like... He started out as a WoW player, or something like that, like one of those like big like multi-team online monster player games. Yeah. You know the one that literally had the guy that went, Leroy Jenkins. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one he was a part of a long time ago. Like this guy solved a lot of video game problems. Kind of like one of my uh, inspirations for like gaming, because like Asmund Gold like, Despite him not taking a shower for like several years, <laughs> and his house is ridden with mice, rats, cockroaches, ants everywhere, mm -hmm. and his background is just full of soda just lying everywhere. Like empty soda bottles, empty soda cans, e empty soda um, containers everywhere. Mm -hmm. At least, like, I try to keep my apartment clean from a lot of that stuff. But, uh, yeah, like, holy crud. That's your bats. But, uh, anyways, despite has been gold, I will have to give him, I have to give him mass praise because, like, all the stuff he's done in the gaming industry. Oh, that's dark, but it's true. Like, none of y'all can see Asmund Gold because of my coffee is right in front of his face. <laughs> all, all you can see is his forehead and his eyes and part of his nose half the time. I can't fix that with his background. Not the way it's designed, or like this foreground, actually, of my desk. I wish I could eat this hamburger right now. I'm hungry. I wish I could pick up the hamburger. Why can't I pick up the hamburger? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta solve. I, I gotta wait to solve this. <laughs> no, 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 I can't get it. Oh man, I can't bend over. No, no, that's not funny. That's not funny. I can't eat the hamburger. Why? Why? Ah! <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, that's just not features. Yeah. No, like, I'm looking at these, like, these people are like. Yeah, they're all in the corner of Power World. Like, Nintendo is looking like the biggest online gaming developer bully ever. <laughs> a Pikachu with an AK 47. <laughs> Somebody should have given it, a, a, like, a drum barrel. Like that tummy barrel underneath, making a tummy gun edition. <laughs> that's hilarious. Hold on, hold on. Like, no, I want to see that card in more detail. Hold on, that's funny. Like, hold on, hold on, everyone. No, this this is funny, right? This is funny. This this is comedy gold. This this is meme worthy right here. Okay, Pikachu AK forty seven, hip two hundred, type electric, basic, based. <laughs> Um, two normals and two steel types. Wow, that brings back memories. Flip a coin if heads you, we kick you, we kick you awake if you're up. Okay. We kick you if you're awake. We kick you and wake you. Oh, we kick you and wake you up. Okay, like, I cannot read today. Um, AK-47, two electric energies, flip a coin, if heads, a defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. 200 damage. That's a lot of damage. Like, I wish I had the meme right now, the thing uh, on my soundboard. I wish I had it activated. Like, I literally just got to find that sound of like, now that's a lot of damage of that one meme from my digital soundboard. But no, I'm not going to lie. Oh, oh, this is a stretch. Oh, but... At the same time, 
I love this. I love this card. Oh, I want it. I, I want this card. I want this card. Oh my god, I want to have this card in real life. Oh no, more like territory, uh, kind of like, like, territorian, I guess is how you call it. Like, what do you call, uh, the situation of people being like, you know, in a tyrannous regime, like, forcing things upon the people? What do you mean, a radical? No, no, like, territorian or something like that, you know, oh, uh, uh, tyrant? No, it's a tyrant that is very, um... God, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like uh, Territorian or Territorian or Territorian. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't pronounce it. Uh, it it's, it's like being very territorial and wanting more as a, like somebody that's like a tyrant. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, like, basically wanting more land and never stopping. Like, uh, like a regime, like a Territorian regime or something like that. I forget what they call it. Yeah, so do I. No, it's because of the mechanics. No, it is not. Like, if anything, like, it's so much of a stretch for, like, the mechanics still. Because they're not original. They're highly not original. Anybody can do them. And the one thing different between Power World and Pokemon, you can actually capture humans. <laughs> you can capture humans in the Pal Spears. I did that once. I hated it. So I just sold it to a dealer. Sold somebody in a pal wall to a dealer? Yeah, I sold it to a dealer. Got a lot of money for it, too. I got a lot of pal gold for that, too. That was hilarious. Yeah, it was one of, it was one of the pal world, like, um, resistance fighters. Yeah. The one with the crossbows and, like, the clubs. Yeah. And, like, I ended up catching one of those on uh, mistake on an older game. And I sold it to one of the black market dealers. I got a lot of money for it. <laughs> he was like, ah, I hate it. I hate it. I want to get rid of you. So I literally got out the cleaver hoping like the cleaver could kill the human. So I can chop it up for bits. Nah, didn't work. So I was like, oh God, how am I going to get rid of you? I'm tired of this bullshit. I don't want a human on my base. <laughs> and I got like, wait a minute. What have I sold? <laughs> I sold that son of a gun. I got a shit ton of gold. So, yeah, like, I think I got over, like, 4,000 gold for selling a human. I mean, you can do slave trade in Pal World. You can do slave trade in Pal World. That is so messed up. Oh, that is so messed up the way I put that. I'm probably going to get canceled for that one. Oh, me and my mind. It is hilarious, though. Yeah, it is. Like, you... <laughs> that is so messed up, but it's funny. This is not what Pal World is getting sued for. Pal World is getting sued for patents on games mechanics. Yeah. Like, you can That's literally it. So yeah, Nintendo has the finale to win to win. They 
probably saw Power World fall off and thought it was a good time to strike with bullshit lawsuits and have their own version of the game in the works and out of film. Well, here's my perspective on it. I played Power World and I, I thought it was a great game. I really liked it. I'm still playing Power World. I'm still loving it. I haven't unlocked all the achievements. I mean, not all my pals are level 55. I got an A team and a B team and even a C team now that are getting close to like level 55. But I'm going to be real, like tomorrow I'm going to continue to play Power World a bit. I'm going to do like some hunting for some... um. Like, uh, those points I need because I'm at level 55 right now. No, like, that is such an outlandish reach. And, like, we even got, like, little, like, grenade launchers for the PAL spheres. We got a heat-seeking PAL sphere launcher. We got a multi-PAL sphere launcher that fires three spheres. We got one that fires two. We got one that fires continuous PAL spheres and a single PAL sphere. And a long-range PAL sphere launcher as well. So, like, there's multiple different PAL sphere launchers. And, like, Pokemon don't have PAL sphere launchers. Or Pokeball launchers. If they did, it's probably some Jesse and James bullshit from Pokemon that uh, anime. <laughs> that is some Jesse and James Team Rocket level bullshit. Bro, you're forgetting the new Team Rocket. The Rainbow? Yeah. <laughs> I know of the Rainbow, but I've never heard. I'm not, the only one I played against the Rainbow in is like. Um, Silver, gold, and crystal. Uh, the old one, at least. Like, the real old game. Like, Nintendo's just come out with all these unnecessary bullshit games of Pokemon that really haven't been doing well lately. And this is them trying to rookie crush. And failing miserably. But, like, it's, it's so freaking disgusting. This is their only argument? Yeah, this is just him rant, uh, talking with, like, his followers right now. Yeah. Because, like, you take a look further on down the video. Yeah, there's no other evidence that uh, is shown. So, uh, yeah. Holy crud. So I'm going to have Asmund Gold like running in the background, alright everyone? So, uh, yeah, as, as far as like the arguments of Nintendo and like Power World, like I don't know what to say other than that Nintendo really doesn't have much of an argument right now. The only argument they have is all oh, similarities to the PAL spheres, but the capture conditions, like I'm just going to close that. The capture conditions are just so different, right? They're so oh, different on their conditions. I would like to hear y'all's arguments on Twitter slash X on this. Because, like, I know there's nobody watching this other than me right now on the live stream. Because, um, like, it's really late. But uh, even more so, like, I would love to hear y'all's arguments on Twitter slash X. On what y'all think, obviously, is, you know, what... Uh, Nintendo has any further evidence other than the Palmon like designs of the Pokemon because like that's freaking redundant. Like we're looking at game mechanics, but the only things I can come close to the game mechanics are, are literally just you know the Pal Spears and the Pal Terminal. Like I, I'm gonna be real, that's the only things that are like kind of relevant right now with their arguments and. I don't even think that will hold up in court. I think Nintendo will be laughed out of the courtroom because they're coping so hard. 
Like, they are literally smoking the copium so hard right now because Power World's, like, massive success. Um, like, I, it's freaking crazy. So, I've been Commander D, and, like, Joey just got back from the locals. Uh, tomorrow, I am gonna admit something that I think I'm finally realizing I'm reaching a point in Yu-Gi-Oh! where I finally realize... I'm going through a massive burnout. And I'm going to talk about that more tomorrow on live stream. I have been Commander D, and I will see y'all tomorrow, bright and early, for another discussion video. And a gaming video will follow up afterwards around 4 p.m. for uh, Pal World. So, Pal World at 4 p.m., and hopefully around like 1 to 2, a discussionary live stream. Thank you so much. Until next time, I will see you on the next world. Joey, anything you have to say? Hi, people. Uh, we're saying goodbye, not hi. Okay, yeah. Goodbye, you, you, people. Okay, thank you, Joey. All right. We'll see y'all in the next one. And hopefully Joey's model will be done sooner than later, as I just got Iris Kramer's model done. And he's the last one on the team that needs to get done. Uh, go check out VTuber 101. The latest episodes uploaded. And soon after, there will be a mini-series of um, who is the team. As you'll finally be able to figure out, oh, who are the main core team members of Seed Next Gen of my overall VTuber staff later.